Good evening and welcome to We Host Sports. My name is Raul Alonso and I'm your host. Today I have a very exciting show for you. We have an artist by the name of MVP Ernest Washington. He has done work for more than 20 athletes including uh, celebrities like Lamar Odom, Regina King, Terry Ter GP, uh, and uh, some of the people that have his artwork are Jim Hill, Norm Nixon, and plenty of others. So welcome, Mr. Ernie Washington. Thank you, Mr. Raw. Now, I saw you at, um, at the King Celebration. Yes. You know, and I saw you doing some of this work. And it, it got my attention. And I'm sure like thousands of others that were walking through. How did you manage to concentrate to do such a nice work when you have all these thousands of people walking by and seeing you working? Well, I, I just focus, Raul. You know, I'm used to drawing around large crowds from being inside uh, Fox Skybox in the Staples Center for years and uh, in the games and uh, did murals in high school 30 years ago. So I just focus and, you know, pay attention to what, I, uh, what I'm working on. And, and you do different kind of mediums, right? Yes, yes. So what kind of medium is this? This that is working? acrylic paint. Okay. That's, I mean, how long did it took you to do a, a, a thing like this? Well, I did it in pencil first, mm -hmm. and it takes about uh, 30 minutes to an hour to do it in pencil. But then I'll go over and I'll paint the black uniforms and the white uniforms and the purple uniforms. So, you know, a lot of the fans like it in black and white and all the colors. So. Uh, I have it pretty much covered. But but you do uh, a lot of diff different stuff. Don't you? You uh, work on different parties. You do characters. Yes, you do characters. Di different kind of uh, work. You just don't base yourself on this, right? right? Yes. Uh, now, recently, and Leroy Neiman passed away, and he was doing more or less the kind of work that you do. Yes. And he was well known in all the sports world. Uh, and I think that's, you should end up taking his play. <laughs> it's a, in, my, in my belief, okay. <laughs> not sure in your belief too. All right. but what do you think about his passing and everything he did for, for people in sports and the artwork? When I read it uh, in the paper the other day, it was like, wow, almost as big as Michael Jackson passing to me because in the 70s, I felt like you know, I could be the next Neiman. I remember him being in the Rocky movies and mm -hmm. the paintings of Ali and all the Olympics. and. Of course, that motivated all of us sports artists to, to be as successful as he was. And uh, one time, I remember them saying just a signed copy of his mm -hmm. was worth $1,200. But now that he's passed, it's way more than that now. Way, way more. Yeah, way, way, way <laughs> I'm more sure. Than that. Yeah. Because his, his items were either one of a kind, most of them were one of a kind, correct? Absolutely. Just, Absolutely. just like yours, are, yes. most, of, most of them are one of a kind, yes. right? Yes, sir. And, and I, I went to your website and you had this beautiful picture. <laughs> <laughs> and I know that, that it will bring you a smile because yeah, this is your yeah. grandson, isn't it? Yes, yeah, that's my grandson, <laughs> my, one of my, my oldest, to, uh, uh -huh. my, one of my daughters. And uh, he, he, she took him trick-or-treating. Okay. And I drew that picture and then I had Regina King and Tarazi Henson sign it for me. And I signed Pop Pop and my daughter has it at her house in Cincinnati. Oh, that's, that's fantastic. Yeah. It's, I mean, and, and how long did it took you to make a, a, a portrait like About this? About two hours. Two hours? About two hours, yeah. You, you're pretty fast on, on everything. Do you ever sell a lot of your paintings, like when you are uh, like in the parades? Because you've been in all, basically yeah. in all that celebration parades. You had done work at the Great Western Forum, mm -hmm. uh, at Staples. Uh, right. You've been everywhere. You know, for a while they had them on display in the Fox Skybox inside Staples Center for eight years mm -hmm. of Shaq holding Kobe after the championship, Chris Collinsworth, and I think Terry Bradshaw had some work of mine that they signed and put in there. Um, so, yeah, yeah, I've been around. Been around. How long have you been doing this? I started when I was about eight or nine years old off the comic books, you know, uh, The Hawk and Superman and them. And uh, my older cousins really could draw better than me. Uh, my first uh, competition was against them. You know, one day I'm going to be as good as they were. They stopped, and I kept going. In 1976, uh, getting in trouble with the cops and all, they said, well, instead of 
putting him in a home, just put him in a, an art school. So I went to York Academy of Art in uh -huh. 1976 for one course, and then Cameron University in the Army in 1979. But just two courses, but it's been thousands of hours of passionate drawing. How old, how old were you when you realized this is my path, this is what I love to do? Uh, yes, you're right. Uh, <laughs> Probably 17 or 18 when I, you know, right before I took the course at Cameron. You know, I just thought I loved to draw, mm -hmm. but then, you know, a lot of people said, wow, this is good. So I kept on, I realized how it affected people, and I just kept drawing. Yeah, you say comic, and I see you got this picture uh, of the first lady and the yeah, president right here. This is pretty good. I, well, I like you. it. Thank you. Well, what motivated you to do a picture like this? That's American history. You know, our first mm -hmm. non-white or, you know, uh, uh, First African-American president, right? And that no. dance there, wow, it was just, that, ca that capitalized the whole celebration. It, know, it was beautiful, life. right? The yes. only thing is maybe you should have put Beyonce up here because <laughs> <laughs> they were dancing, they were dancing to that, that right? That we would have to do, do a revision or something. <laughs> revision <laughs> that, because you're right. I, that's what I saw. Yeah. Oh, that would be something. Because they, they, they used to say about Beyonce. I'm definitely going to do that. <laughs> but let's go through some of the most famous uh, people that you have drawn here okay. and you brought. Um, Obviously, we all know who this is. Yes, and yes. Well, that's one of my favorite pieces there. That's uh, Lennox Lewis. Mm -hmm. It used to be the L.A. Boxing Club right across from L.A. Trade Tech. Y you're right. And, and all the famous boxers would come there, and I knew the guy that owned it, Rich, I believe it was. Right. Right? Big mm -hmm. tall guy. Right. And the day before he fought Klitschko, he says, don't say anything, MVP, but Lennox and uh, Emmanuel Stewart will be here training. And uh, everyone else think he's going to Ventura, so don't say nothing. So I came in, and the BBC wouldn't let me in. But the originals, wow, that size by that size uh -huh. in color. So I waited for them to open the door. And when they opened it, I held it up high. And Lennox stood up with his hands wrapped and signaled me in. The BBC was there, and the man will store it behind me. And uh, he signed it with his uh -huh. hands wrapped. And we sat side by side. He said, you aren't going to sell this, are you? I said, no, I think I'll keep this chance. That, so that's that's, that's yeah, worth a pretty yeah, penny oh, now, yeah, isn't yeah, it? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So, that that's those are great stories. Yeah, uh, okay. Do you get a lot of breaks like that? A People lot. let you in into a lot of events oh, because yeah, of your lot. work and stuff. Because you just got to be out there. If it's your passion and along with your salesmanship, you know, I learned from construction of my grandfather. Those two together, you know, yeah, I've, I've got to be there. I, I want to meet the people. Now. I believe this this is a portrait that, that this person bought from you, yes. correct? Am I correct? Yes, yes. that's Lamar Odom. Uh -huh. he, uh, I met him at, oh, what's that called? The Stick and Stein in El Segundo. It was open for 30 years. It just recently closed and when he was hurt that season. Right. And uh, I said, I have a picture of you, Lamar. And he said, yes. Yeah. So I went and got it and showed it to him. Then he told one of his friends, to say, have him draw Jalen for me, his son that died. Mm -hmm. So the original picture has a picture of Jalen up here. Oh, in two positions, that's right. And Lamar's looking at him. Okay, and nice. He really appreciated it. Very nice. It. We sat in a van side by side, and I said, I don't know what to charge. He says, anything you want, MVP. So uh, that's what's, what's happening there. But his father's got a copy of that, and, it was, and he went on ESPN with uh, Jim Lampley with it. So it's in their home now. Now you been, you've been interviewed by a, by a lot of news, yeah. and uh, you've been all, all over. Tell us who has been uh, some of the people that you've been interviewed well, by. Well, I got my stuff. name MVP from uh, Julie Gould, I believe it was. Mm -hmm. He was an anchor for Fox 11, and when Carl Malone and and uh, that matter of fact that picture's in there, Carl Malone and and Gary Payton had joined the team, and so someone told him there's an artist that hangs in the uh, sports you know, sports bar. Uh-huh. And uh, so she said, we're going to interview you. And they came in with the cameras and said, we have these MVPs here. They said, well, we have another MVP, the most valuable painter. And that's how I got my name. And I like that. I like that, most valuable painter. Okay. Yeah. Well, how, how do you feel when, when she threw that name? Did, did it lit up a light bulb on top and, and you said, that should be my name? It touched me. And it gave me a responsibility that if I'm going to carry that name, I've got to be you know, the next Leroy Neiman or Steve 
I forget Steve as a big time sports artist. So yeah, I take it personally. I, I mean, to have an accolade like that to be saved by someone that has been around and done sports and all of that stuff, that, that's, yeah. that's great. Well, yeah, I greatly apologize. <laughs> I, I greatly appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have this one from uh, USC. Who, who signed? Okay. You had everybody in there signing I this. I heard, again, just being around. Uh -huh. <laughs> just being around. Just being around a while, and I heard that they're going to have a pep rally. They played Washington State that game, and uh -huh. they had a pep rally in uh, the hall where they had all the, the trophies, you know, the Heismans. And so I was there, and they went in the locker room, and Pete Carroll came out and signed it, and Matt Leonard signed it, and there's six or seven other players that, that are in the NFL now. They signed it. So uh, and I gave one to Jim Hill. And he has one, so uh, yeah, I've been around. How big you make these paintings? The original was again maybe 18 by 12. By 12. Yes. Nice. Well, nice. Those are nice. And let's see, we have, of course, yeah. some more keys. Kopitar. Uh, that's game well, one. Game one. And the finals. And the finals. That's right. When he scored against the, when color, you can see the red and the black of the Devils. There. How do you? maintain the picture or the image of that shot or what you want to draw? I usually have photographs of them. And a lot of times I'll study them before I, I draw it. You know, just to internalize, you know, uh, having played sports, I know what certain materials feel like. And, uh, you know, the passion and the grips of the hands on the, you know, the hockey sticks and all. And then I just draw it. And I just draw it. Now, we were talking earlier about you being everywhere. This picture here has made the rounds around the world. Yes. How does that make you feel when you draw uh, something and you know that now it's known globally? Again, internalizing Michael Jackson from when we were small. My, my sister got one of his first albums when he was about nine or ten. He had a Tam hat and an Afro. Mm -hmm. And knowing Michael Jackson all my life, it wasn't hard for me to transfer my passion and ability into, into a picture. And, you know, that, that famous one there, when they were lean and forward. Right. Uh, again, I've got two or three hours in that. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm proud of that. You know, to, to transfer what he did to the world from my perspective. So, so when you decide to make a, a, a painting like this, do you just grab anything and start drawing if you don't have your no. sketch with you or how do you go about it sometimes i do i'll draw on the back of uh <laughs> you know paper that someone threw away because i've got to get it right and i go through many photos to find the one that i believe would touch people you know and that's from studying norman rockwell you know, mm. he's the master at, at that he sure is we're going to go through some more okay. pictures. Quickly, that was uh, in the Fox Sky Box. They gave me a little glass booth uh -huh. I was in, and I knew all the Spark fans, the, the Kings fans, the Lakers, the Clippers, you know, concerts. I was there four or five days a week, every day for like eight years. And a woman that was a missionary from Mexico said, I have a little orphan girl that I want to draw. And she never came back. You know, she got lost. Maybe she forgot about it. But I've had that picture 10 to 12 years, and that's a picture of a little... A Mexican oh. orphan that a missionary had down in uh, Mexico. So wow, that's pretty personal. So those, those uh, every every picture has a different meaning Absolutely. for you, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I believe that's what an artist has to do is to, you know, to put his passion into the drawing. Now putting passion into the drawing. So if you're in a bad mood that day, does the, your picture show darkness? <laughs> does it does it change? Uh, depending on how you're feeling and the mood of the day, does the picture change? Absolutely, absolutely. I try not to draw, you know, in that mood, but I will. I'll draw strange stuff, you know. <laughs> what is some of the darkest stuff that you have uh, drawn? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, well, let's see. I can't even think of any. <laughs> you know, I, I've drawn, well, I did one recently here, two birds, you know, uh, one threw a punch and the other one slipped. Then he threw a punch, and you can see the bird's head going like uh -huh. that. And then the one that slipped threw a punch straight up, and the bird's face is up. Then he wins the prize, a piece of bread. So oh, an uppercut. He flies away <laughs> with the bread. <laughs> oh, that's, that, that's, that's pretty cool, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, that's how I... It's not so yeah, dark. It's, it's just a little bit. We're fighting yeah. and stuff. It's silly sometimes. <laughs> but, but that's, 
that's what artists do, isn't yes. it? Yes. You got you have a different vision than what I have and what other people have. Right. right. Is that correct? Yes, and speaking of that, one picture I did during a tough time like that was was it Pete Lamp Sampras? Oh Pete Sampras, yeah. Him and his father. You know, after he won a title he embraced his father real you know, oh I, I drew that one during a downtime. And then there's a uh, Pastor Chip Murray. Uh huh. Uh, his last sermon at the church he preaches at, um, there was a homeless man. Now, he preached at this church for 27 years. It was in the paper. And the ushers wouldn't let the homeless man in. And he says, that's what I preach for 27 years, to love everybody. He had the homeless man come in and sit on the pulpit with him, and he hugged him. And that's what I'll draw when I'm, when I'm down, pictures like that. See, that, those are pretty powerful yeah. message yeah. there. Both of them, one hugging his father, yeah. you know, and father feeling so proud of his son Absolutely. winning a championship and the son feeling proud of the dad. And, and the other one, you know, having him sit in the pulpit. That's yeah. totally different that's what art, things. Yeah. And, and that's why I said you pick up different things than what we picked up. Yes. Yes. So what about this p picture right here? This is a picture I've seen. I, I guess I lie a lot about it. People say, who is that? I say, that's my granddaughter. But it's a picture I've seen years ago and with the country hat and the, the flannel shirt. And she was actually looking at another boy with a popsicle, looking at his popsicle. She's oh, okay. holding hers. But like uh, Norman Rockwell, again, I just focus on, you know, the eyes and the picture itself and let it speak for itself. So. Now, who, who, who have you not drawn that you want to... Uh, make a painting out? Hmm. Wow, I've done most of my heroes. Randall Cunningham. He's, he's a hero of mine. I haven't done him yet. And I'm like that for some reason. Uh, and George Foreman, my main heroes, I haven't drawn them yet. I have to wait for the right time. And those two. Have you ever drawn like soccer, like David Beckham? Yes, I think David, he be, uh, Oh, I did Beckham with an African child. He was in Africa. Oh, that's right. And a child was holding a flower, and Beckham was looking at him real, you know, intensely. Mm -hmm. And it showed a side of Beckham that people don't know. I did draw one of him kicking a ball. Um, of course, Pele. Mm -hmm. And there's another one that prays for Brazil. Uh, Is it Brazil? Who? Uh, Ronaldo? Yep. For a guy that works down at LA Live. He wanted me okay. to draw it. I drew it for him. So. Nice. Yeah. And some of these people have your painting? Is oh that man, correct? Man, Bob Baffert, Victor Espinoza, uh, Kent Ersoma. I used to go to the racetrack during the, uh, what are they called, the, the races where they run three races? Oh, uh, uh, the Triple Crown? Triple Crown. And I drew Victor Espinoza when he won with War Emblem. And he, you know, signed one for right. me. And I gave him one, and I gave one to Bob Baffert to put in his office. And then Kent Ersoma. So I just love sports, man. You, you do love sports, <laughs> I see. <laughs> now, who, this picture right here, I'm sure a lot of people out there know who, mm -hmm. who he is. How do you came about drawing him? John Wooden dominated college basketball, and you've got to put icons like that in, in your collection. I mean, 11 or 12 championships, and you know, then with Jabbar there, others, and. Uh, again, like Joe Paterno, his life was dedicated to that program. So they're heroes. And yeah, you got to draw our heroes. Because we were talking about that, Joe Paterno, and uh, and right. same thing with Wooden and, oh, and yeah. UCLA. Yes, that's right. He basically transformed the art of basketball in college. <laughs> yes, he <laughs> did. did. He? Yes, he Just did. like Paterno in football. Yeah, <laughs> he did right. it yeah. in, in and basketball. And great guys. And, and I don't think there will be another coach to, to get to his accolades. I'll tell you, you what, as far as, well, Pat Summit in women's basketball, and, but yeah. right, and it's going to but take a while. But in men's uh, basketball, I don't John think Moon. there will be someone that will win all those championships in a row. And dominate. Like, and dominate it like That's that. Right. I don't believe. It's going to be a while if it is. <laughs> <laughs> this is great, though. Uh, <laughs> have you got any offers since he passed of the paintings? What do you do with paintings like uh, of, of them that have passed away? You know, I wanted to get out and get him to sign it before he passed, but I, I never did make it, and I just hold on to it. Now, now that, you know, with talking to you, uh, sure, I got to go to UCLA and, and, and get it to someone, and uh, maybe they can make it a part of the, the college. I think they would love to have that as part of the college, I as big as he is. Yeah. Uh, he was in the stands until, basically, until almost until he That's right. went. 90s. 
I used to see him in the stands where he wasn't coaching anymore, but he was there That's cheering right. them on. And, right. and basically, some of the coaches will turn, used to turn to him for advice while the game was going on. And I'm thinking to myself, why don't you just put him back in? <laughs> <laughs> but, but I guess he knew, his, he knew what he was doing, and he did it for so many years and stuff. And to get back to that stage, it's going to be hard. You're right. It may take a long time for another John Wood. I don't think it will ever, ever happen. It may not. It may not. But what about Miss ah, Ch Chiquilla one of my favorite, uh, <laughs> one of my favorite heroes. There's a, a cook that worked in the skybox, and, you know, he bought one of the colored versions, and I came in one day, he says, MVP, Shaq's on your pitcher. Now, Lamar and Shaq are, and Dr. J are my three favorite players. And so I'm like, what did he say, man? He says, who drew this all loud? <laughs> then he signed it and said, this is real good. So I went out to the training facility the next day and held a picture up. He was in his car. He pointed and said, nice, and he, he went on. So I'm satisfied with that. Yeah. That's, so that's fantastic. Yeah, those, yeah Shaq signed one he, of the pictures. He's actually a really, really nice guy. <laughs> the best. The best. Buys toys for kids, works with the police, right? He, w he wants to be a, a, a mayor, I think, a of a, a town. He could be, yeah. he could be mayor that, of this city. That's why he went and he got his... Uh, no, he already he's already a policeman, right. but he wants to really run the whole <laughs> he city. Could do it. So he I could, think he can do know, it. You every team is shot. I would one care team. if he comes down the street. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I didn't do anything to her. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take whatever I took. <laughs> I'm mean, scared. No problem. No he problem. He's a huge man. <laughs> a big giant. A gentle giant. <laughs> <laughs> he is. He's a good guy, and he'd do a good job, you know. Now, the Dodgers. Oh, you yeah. have a few pictures here Someone's of the favorite. Dodgers, <laughs> and they're, different, they're from different eras. Yes. So we'll start with this one because this one is <laughs> probably the oldest one. Speaking of eras, that's what artists' job, you know, their main job is right. for contemporary times. As we talk about Rockwell, his paintings were doing, you know, the 30s and 40s. Right. You could tell the wood clothes, the leather shoes. You, the, there's a couple of people spanking kids, mm -hmm. which nowadays we, we couldn't do you that. You can't do that, right. <laughs> no, you're going to jail. Yeah, so contemporary, I, you know, we say who's the best basketball player, who's the best baseball. you got to go by eras. you got to consider the games, the number of games in the season, the athleticism, you know, and the things present. So that's Steve Yeager of the, what, 83... Dodgers, I remember the MVP down in um, Marina del Rey. Uh -huh. I met a guy who has a classic collectible sports shop, mm. and he had all these trunks in there signed Cassius Clay worth a hundred thousand dollars. He had all these very you know famous paintings, and I had a picture of Shaq, and so uh, yeah, I put that in there. And Steve Yeager was there that day. I, mm -hmm. I hadn't had the picture done yet, but uh, he was going to sign it. And I never did get it done in time. But the picture of Shaq, he said, you said, all this expensive stuff I have in here, people come in and buy that picture more than they do the other ones. So, yeah, I, I, well, there's certain players that are draw more attention than, than others, you know? The, and depending on what sport they are and how much they contribute to the community. That, yeah. And then the art, you know, the artist, how it affects people, you know, uh, like we're talking about Neiman, his right. style, and Van Gogh and his style. And can't forget... Uh, Ernie Davis, uh, right? You know his pictures on Good Times are mm -hmm. very influential to me. You know he also motivated me that one day I could have my picture on a wall, you know, on a TV show or something. I'm, I'm sure you you will. You've done a lot of stuff. So now here, was this when they won their championship? That's when Gagne just after one of his games. I mean he obliterated Ty Cobb's record, 39. Six, right. He got 88. Right. And uh, that's just phenomenal. I mean if he did it by a couple, it'd be, uh, but 88 saves, and that's. That's the intensity we need for sports. And you know? Mr. Dyer over there, what was uh, his uh, ERA? <laughs> yeah, he, knows. he probably knows that. He knows. You don't know. <laughs> Come knows. on, Mr. Dyer, <laughs> tell us. <laughs> I do not know his ERA, but that's Eric Gunn, yeah. <laughs> 88 saves, huh? And then we have this one, which is Mr. the Kim. one that's hot right now. Mr. Kim. He just got hurt. Yeah, yeah. Yes, and we're, we're, so, we're doing bad without him, too. Yeah. We're doing bad. We are going but down the drain It takes time quick. for the team to step up, you know, those guys to make it happen until he gets back. But the Dodgers have changed since Magic took over. Yeah. They, they yeah. literally have, uh, you know, 
they were in first place for a long time. Right now they're going through a little drought, and, yeah. it, and it happens. And baseball, Absolutely. it happens like that. Absolutely. You know, you got those long streaks of winning 15, Absolutely. 20 games, and then you got the long streaks of losing <laughs> yeah. 15, yeah. 20 yeah. games, so you end up 160 <laughs> games or something. <laughs> <laughs> so we have one oh. more of USC. That's uh, actually that's RG three Robert okay. Griffin. Okay, he's already in the oh, Washington okay. Redskins jersey. What am I? It, it looks like almost USC well, colors because they are. That's it almost the same like color. It. So, you know, I try to draw players in other uniforms before they get there. Like Gary Payton, I had him in the Lakers. I have him there. I have a uh, for the Colts. What's that quarterback's name that just went there? Manning. No, the new one. Um, uh. Well, I have him already in blue and white. Um, he just. Recruited him last year with RG3. Anyway, I have him in, uh, from Stanford. From Stanford, the quarterback they just uh, hired. Well, anyway, I already have him in the Colts uniform, and now I'm waiting to hear if Nash or whoever's going to be in, you know, the Lakers uniform. I'll go ahead and do that. So this is part of Selfish. Wow. I think we have gone through almost all of the yeah, we did. pictures we did. that you brought. This is great, and now. You have some Celtics here. Those are classics because Ray Allen's going to be somewhere, you know, and uh, we have him in the Celtics with Pierce, but he's not going to be there. Well, we were talking about Pierce, that he's from L.A. and yeah. he ended up playing in, in, Boston. Uh, the, in Boston, and now he don't want to know anything about L.A. Uh, <laughs> it's <laughs> like, wait a minute, you grew up here. What's wrong it's with you? It's part of sports. <laughs> you know, but weird. that's what loyalty. sports does, loyalty. Loyalty, loyalty yeah. really kind of uh, screwed you up and, and yeah. stuff. But that's... That's part of the uh, sports uh, world, you know. That's right. And uh, we're That's basically Iron Man. Let's let's show something different uh, before we go. And I did that up Lamar Odoms. It's actually in uh -huh. purple and gold, but I ended up doing uh, Kevin Durant sign one, and I did the whole NFL. So I've got a lot of pictures of Iron Man with different jerseys and stuff. This is a great picture. Well, we gotta go and uh, thank you. Thank Ernest, you. for for being here <laughs> <laughs> all and right. uh, showing us all your artwork. Well, thank you best, for having best me. Best of success, all and right. uh, please come back and see us again. It'd be a pleasure, and I plan on being that next Neiman. So and I, I'm really gonna here. push the issue because right, you well should I, be that next okay. Neiman. <laughs> <laughs> see you later, everybody. Next week, same time, same channel. Rock. Thank you. So we're out. It's all right. Yeah. All right. That, was, that was great. All right. Thank you. So, give me a few minutes. We're gonna see if we can get you a copy of that. Okay.